Hey everybody, good morning and welcome to Kerbal Space Program Career Mode with Rhiny. Um, I've got something cool I wanted to show you. I believe I have here a Scott Manley beating mini plane. I call this the Microplane 1. Uh, let's just talk you through what it has. So on the front here, it has a small circular intake, the smallest one you can get. Then it has the Octo, and it's got a small inline reaction wheel which isn't actually necessary, but I put it there anyway. Got a rechargeable battery and some solar panels here. Uh, a couple of AVR8 winglets and the basic tail fin on the back. Then these fuel tanks, I've got the Oscar B fuel tanks. I could sw uh, switch them for jet fuel, which I might show you the um, a different one after this. But basically I've got this one right now and I've removed all the oxidizer. And then the final part is the J20 Juno basic jet engine. So I just want to show you how this bad boy actually works. So if I turn on the thrust, now the important thing to note here is looking at the thrusting. So I've right clicked that. Once that gets to about 12, 13, it starts to lift off. So you can see I've powered up the engine. You need to wait until that thrust goes up. Um, and there we go. So we have takeoff. Now I just want to test to see how high I can get this. And then we'll take it for a little bit of a spin and I'll show you the handling and speed characteristics of it. Now, once you get to a certain height, you'll see that the on the air intake, the flow here, the number's dropping. That's because the oxygen and atmosphere that this air intake is using is decreasing as the higher I get. So, it kind of slows down and we can't really do too much with it. Now, if I just slow down the game engine again we'll do a little flyby perhaps of the base or perhaps not let me just show you the handling so you can see it can rotate um, the wings kind of uh, pivot about their axes like so it's got really good handling like you can just turn it no problem obviously we're plummeting to the ground so that's affecting flight capabilities right now but I just want to show you how fast this thing can get it can go absolutely ridiculously fast. We can get up to Mach, I think, 1.1 with it, which is over 700 uh, miles per hour, I believe. Not kilometers per hour, miles per hour. Now, obviously, if you take a look up here, you can see my Mach number. Just where my mouse is pointing. There we go, a little flyby of the base. And we're coming in quickly to the ground. There we go, just don't want it to crash. So 0 0.9 Mach right now. Now, if I just fly straight up, and then come plummeting down, I can get it to Mach 1.1. In horizontal flight like this, <clears throat> excuse me, I can get it to about 0.97 Mach. That's about it. You can see the speed is starting to slow now, but if I tilt slightly forward so it's not fighting against gravity anymore, we can now get it to 0.97 Mach, which, like I say, is close to 700 miles per hour. Now, let me just show you the handling of this thing. If I just press down and pull up like so, Look at that. It's brilliant. And that slows it down rapidly. Now, in order to land it, I haven't actually perfected landing it yet. Because I saw it more as like a prototype for some sort of space plane. But I'm still working on that design. But if we take a look here, maybe I could try and do a little landing on the runway. It depends on how good I am at steering this thing. But there we go. I, that, that basic fin on the back doesn't really do too much, to be fair. So there are some tweaks I could make. I could r remove the reaction wheel. It's not necessary. Uh, definitely need the solar panels because it's unmanned. Ah, oh, you know what would be amazing if we put a little uh, seat on this and got a Kerbal to sit on the back. Oh my god, that would be so cool. I'm going to see if I can land it. Oh yeah, we're going way too fast. So if I pull up and do a sort of aero break and just let the air take control of me, I think I've messed up my landing here to be honest. What I did want to try and do was just try and land it back like that. I don't know if that's possible. That's the way it took off, but we'll, let's test it out, shall we? Here we go. Now, I think this is a Scott Manley beating plane because he built a mini plane, but I, I think I've, I've actually got a smaller plane. I would argue that it's smaller. I could potentially make it even smaller as well if I took off one of these fuel tanks. Um, but as, as a sort of cool little plane, I could potentially take this to lathe uh, if I coupled the top of the rocket with a fairing and stuff like that to protect it during um, takeoff. That could work. Let's see if let's see if we can get a land in. I'm pretty sure we can't, but you never know. I'll tell you what we could do. If I turn my thruster up to max, 
tilt it up like so and then drop my speed the thing the problem is if you if you're going too slow then you just smash into the ground because gravity is faster I wonder if I if it's something to do with thrust if I got it to like 10 kilonewtons if that would work I don't know yeah see look gravity's pulling it down but I can fight it by doing this I'm gonna give it a go I'm gonna give it some thrust come on let's see if we can land it oh man that'd be ama amazing if we could oh it's so hard to control <laughs> come on little come on little space plane thing it's plummeting too fast turn up the thrust even more think it's gonna crash think it's gonna crash ah! yeah it did but it landed it's there <laughs> the engine blew off so with a bit of work and a bit of tweaking I could potentially land that back in an upright position if I had legs on it that would help as well but that's not a bad plane right my micro plane thank you for watching I will show you another uh, little airplane with some tweaks in a second and here we have on the launch pad my Mark II version of my little microplane. I'll talk you through the little changes I've made. So you can see here, I've now used a liquid fuel fuselage rather than these little Oscar B fuel tanks. I've got two of those just to reduce the size. So this is actually, I think, slightly smaller. Actually, no, uh, it's smaller in terms of I don't have the... Um, the little SAS module in there anymore to control it. Um, I do now have landing legs because I'm going to attempt a landing and that's pretty much it actually. That's the same plane just with landing legs and um, just one of these liquid fuel fuselages rather than the little Oscar B fuel tank. So let's take off and see how this operates in comparison to the last one. So ready, I'm going to press space. Now remember as usual we need to wait for our thrust to go up to probably around 12, 13, between 12 and 15 I reckon uh, is usually a good number. There we go and off it takes. So it's just building up thrust and as the air comes, it basically works through, it's trying to take in air to make the uh, jet engine work and then uh, once that reaches a certain number the engine can output a certain amount of power and away we go or a certain amount of thrust shall we say. So here we go, slightly less maneuverable, I, I would perhaps say, because of the lack of the stability assist um, module, but it's alright, it's not too bad. Now the reason I wanted to build this was uh, because potentially I can fly on lathe, that's why I'm kind of messing around with these microplanes, and you want them to be as small and light as possible. Now if you take a look at the Delta V on this thing, it's actually got, it starts off with around 29,000. So it's potentially, I could fly this around Kerbin. Now I've never attempted to fly around Kerbin because I think that would just take way too long. Um, I haven't got the patience for it, but now I'm just trying to do a maneuver and I think I've messed it up. Ah, we crashed. Let's revert back to launch. So as promised, we are now going to try and land with these little micro landing struts we've got. If I can land this, I'll be absolutely impressed. I'm going to try and land it over by that building over there. That's going to be my aim. So let's just turn down the thrust. Oh, not too much. Ah, we're going too slow. No, we're going to crash again. Ah! Oh. Alright, it's time once more to test our r rocket plane thing. Our little microplane. Um, this is the third attempt at testing out our landing legs if we can. So what I'm going to do is actually put the landing legs out ready. Now I suppose a good idea would be to just try and master landing straight back down. That might be a good plan. So you can see we're coming back down to the surface. I take a look at our surface velocity and it's way too fast. But we have landed. It's not easy to control but we have landed. Alright let's take it for another spin if we can. Oh god it's going to blow up. Come on lift. Lift your crazy little rocket. Oh, head first. Boom. Sorry, base. Oh, God. And there's my little practice, uh, my little practice machines for the base we're building on Minmus. All right. Thank you for watching, guys. That's enough fun with microplanes for one day. If there's anything I've missed that you want me to explore, please let me know. And if uh, you want any help, also, I'm more than willing. 
Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.